Hey guys, this is Khan and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to answer a very common question that I get in my Discord server. If you guys aren't joined yet, be sure to join in, in the description below because we're so close to getting partnered. I am in that server, so if you guys want to talk to me, uh, feel free to join the server and talk to me. And yeah, I remain active in the server, so and we're trying to get partnered. So please do join if you're not going to talk. It's literally one of the best ways to support us. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so the main question that people are asking me, how do you play Switch, key or Switch Keyboard? Okay, here's my answer, right? If you, well, I don't want to exit the game right now, but anyways, we're in Candrox Edit Course, which is one of my, you know, most common warm-up, uh, you know, courses I use. It's an aim trainer and an edit course, which is pretty good. So, the first question that people have been asking, how do you have aim assist on, on uh, Switch Keyboard, all right? People have been, have been saying that Switch Keyboard can still take, a, take it away, but watch this. I'm going to aim a bit off this target, all right? It still hits it. Now, I'm not sure if it, yeah, it works on the targets, but in the real game, it definitely tracks the human, all right? Okay, so with a shotgun, it still has a little bit of aim assist, and with an AR, it definitely does. And then, for editing, uh, well, it's still the same as, you know, a controller. It's on 30 FPS, but on a Switch keyboard, I switched to keyboard because, you know, it's more, much more efficient and faster. Yes, there's a bit more input delay, but, uh, you know, you'll get used to it. You'll, you know, get used to the delay and then, uh, you know, slow down your edits a bit. So, uh, well, actually, not slow down your edits a bit. You're going to slow down your, you know, pressing your buttons a little bit. You'll get used to it. So, another, the next common question is, how do you play Switch on, switch on keyboard? So, basically, it recognizes my keyboard as a, as a pro controller, and that's how I have aim assist. So, to do this, you need a keyboard adapter, which is, you know, like 21 bucks on Amazon. And you need, I recommend a wired keyboard. Wireless keyboard might disconnect, which is, you know, not something you want to happen. So, I recommend a wired keyboard. And this, uh, you know, this keyboard adapter will actually only work on Switch unless you order an Xbox or PS4 one. Be sure to find the right one. It looks like a four corner uh, Ninja Star. And, well, it's perfect for Ninja Cat, obviously. So once you connect the you know the you know the switch to the keyboard, you actually have some weird keybinds that you have to you know set. On your keyboard, your WSD is actually the only option you use to you know move forward. You can't use like M to move forward. I mean, who the hell would do that? But you can't use M to move forward or something like that. And if you go to your settings, uh, first of all, the keyboard adapter comes with a manual, and you have to map these buttons to your keyboard. And these controller keybinds are not the regular, you know, controller binds you would use. Who would use down arrow to edit on a Switch, right? Most of you guys are on, on Switch controller and you would understand. But I'm not on a controller anymore because I've gotten much better and, and my controller, you know, my controller skills not, are not as good. And so the down arrow edit ran maps to two on a keyboard and I use two to edit. And for my building binds, I have to op open the builds first and then I can build. So, my previous weapon is actually to press Q, and my next weapon is E. I can't use 1, 2, 3 or anything like that, because I can only use previous and next. And, again, these are still controller sense. It's just because I play on the keyboard, but it recognizes it as a, you know, controller. So, I have to open builds first. I can't just press Q and the cone just pops up. It'll just be like previous weapon or something like that. If you press C, and you press Q, that's a cone. If you press left click, that's a wall. Right click is a ramp. And I can't build a floor here, but a floor would be E for me. And my left click, it's still shoot when you're, my builds are toggled off. My right click is still aim, so it won't, you know, build a ramp or, some, or something. Personally, I like these key binds better than regular switch binds because, I mean, I mean the, the PC binds. Because PC, you, um, well, you have to, you know, if you select Q, and then you have to, like, press left click again to, you know, build it. For me, I like it better like this. I can still decently crack 90s and edit on, you know, uh, walls and ramps on the mouse, and for spam editing, uh, well, I, no I normally use these binds in a regular game, but if you want to spam it, I would disable inventory, uh, here, let me show you guys, actually. And then you use this as a select. Now, don't copy my binds if you're on controller, right? I know most of you guys are on controller, but here's basically what happens, right? Kind of messed up there, but yeah, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, you see it all. Anyways, uh, that's how you spam it on a keyboard. But again, you're still on 30 FPS. Your skill is limited, but you know people consider me good for being a Switch player, and this is you know the max potential you can get as a Switch player. 
And, you know, there's a lot of people saying that motion control is also, you know, really good modification to Switch. All the pro players on Switch, you know, they play on modifications. And, you know, motion control, if you don't know what that is, is actually... Basically, you move your controller around, it's a pro controller, and you move it around to, you know, move your sight. It's just pretty, and, and you like, you can imagine it, right? It's, I'm cringing at this, you know. You can move around, just, you know, move your sight. And you're going to look like a crackhead when you play, like, according to Tetra, you're going to look like a crackhead. So, moving around does look a little weird, and yeah, you're going to have me cringing if you play on, you know, the motion control. But, hey, they're, all their players are really good editors. They can swirl around really quickly. They can edit pretty quickly, and yeah, also my reset button is actually the right click, alright? So, there's no scroll wheel on keyboard switch, and I wish there was, but there isn't, alright? I can't help you there. So, alright, so motion control or keyboard switch, which one's better? You may be asking right now. Alright, so, obviously I would say switch keyboard is better, but if I wasn't being biased, because I didn't know how to play switch keyboard, and I don't know how to play other one, if I had to tell from looking at gameplay, personally, I would say that Switch Keyboard has more advantages still because you still have aim assist and everything. And on, you know, the motion control, it's still kind of, you know, you know, you're still a controller and it's pretty weird, right? It, it looks hard to learn, but I'm not sure. You can ask uh, CogTap or Tetra or Rubik's or anything or anyone like that. Or, you know, you can ask me and I can ask them, you know, if they have a really big U or something. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think. If I have answered all your questions, that would be it for this video. But you can ask me in the comments or anything. Also, join my Discord or ping me on Twitter if you have any questions. Um, I will be answering all your questions, helping as much as, as many of you as I can. So yeah, uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you are switching to keyboard and switch, uh, be sure to you know these are these are my settings, right? If you're on controller, if you're on my settings, these are my settings. You can pause and you know copy my settings if you want. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through all these. These are actually not my controller uh, binds because, well, again, the PC you know option doesn't show, so I don't have PC key binds. I have these uh, controller binds, but I don't have an edit whole time. I, I don't think I do at least. And all these are my voice chats. You know, again, the left click uh, dead zone and right click dead zone are actually pretty important. So I would actually suggest five percent if you're on keyboard and switch, but if you're on controller, keep it on default, right? Sounds okay. These binds again, do not copy. If you're on Switch keyboard, uh, then yeah, do copy. But rare, rarely do I ever, you know, meet a Switch keyboard player. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And we're also, if you're, you know, if you caught up on the streams lately, we've been uh, lagging a lot recently because, you know, whenever I turn on the live stream, it's um, lagging a lot and I'm getting a lot of packet loss. So until we fix that, uh, we're gonna we're not streaming again, but we're still gonna do with daily uploads. So yeah, uh, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, be sure to join the Discord server and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.